since the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today St. Agnes, one of the early virgin martyrs of the church. May St. Agnes inspire us to be courageous enough to become disciples of Jesus and to be courageous in offering our lives to God. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who choose what is weak in the world to confound the strong, mercifully grant that we who celebrate the heavenly birthday of your martyr, St. Agnes, may follow her constancy in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A 
reading from the letter to the Hebrews. A tabernacle was constructed, the outer one, in which were the lampstand, the table, and the bread of offering. This is called the holy place. Behind the second veil was the tabernacle called the Holy of Holies. But when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled, so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship of living God? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Please stand. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
My dear brothers and sisters, yesterday I talked about being a disciple of our willingness to become a disciple of Jesus. But today, my dear brothers and sisters, I will talk about the requirement. What does it entail of us to become a disciple? In our gospel reading today, we see the relatives of Jesus trying to seize him, to take him out of his mission and telling him, you must be out of your mind. Jesus is teaching us in this story that many times it is our attitude, our mindset that hinders the mission of God. Madalas po yung ugali natin, yung pananaw natin, yung pag-iisip natin ang nagiging hadlang sa misyon ni Jesus. That is why to become a disciple, we must be willing to change our attitudes, our mindsets that stand in the way of God. Kung kahapon itinuro ko sa inyo na dapat tayo ay maging alagad, ngayon naman pinapaalala sa atin, kinakailangang baguhin din naman natin ang ating mga ugali ang ating mga nakasanayan na na nagiging hadlang sa pagsunod natin sa Panginoon. In the past few days, we have been hearing in the Gospel Jesus stretching out His hands to extend it to sinners, to extend it to those who are in need of healing. We have seen in the past days in the Gospel how Jesus was willing to extend His heart to accept and love even the sinners and the tax collectors. Today, Jesus is teaching us to stretch out and extend even our minds so that we could understand one another. Kung nitong mga nakaraang araw, nakita natin si Jesus, inaabot niya ang kanyang kamay, binubuksan niya lalo ang kanyang puso para mahalin, tanggapin kahit mga makasalanan kahit ang mga may sakit, ngayon naman, tinuturo naman sa atin ni Jesus, palawakin mo rin naman ang isip mo nang sa gayon ay matuto tayong umunawa sa isa't isa. A few weeks ago, during the Christmas season, one day after my Mass, a woman approached me here together with her young daughter. And as usual, uh, people who come here introduce themselves to me. And she said, Father, I have been an online Mass goer for the past years especially during the lockdowns in this pandemic. So thank you for, for inspiring us. Thank you for your reflections. But I was surprised by her next line. She said, Father, 
even if I do not agree with you with your political stand, I still consider you as an inspiration. <laughs> Parang nahiya yata ako bigla. No? As you all know, no, I have been very vocal <laughs> in my uh, uh, political understanding of our situation, especially in the past elections, especially in my advocacy in promoting the truth. There are there were many people who already unfollowed me. There were even comments and messages in our Manila Cathedral Facebook page calling me names and telling me that you should not be saying those things during the Mass. I will now unfollow the Manila Cathedral. So they searched for another church. They searched for another preacher, calling me names even on social media. But here is a woman who may have supported another candidate whom I did not support. But she had the courage to tell me, I am still inspired by you. And I was thinking, am I also able to say that to the person who supported another candidate? That I am still able to respect you? That I will not call you names just because you did not support my candidate? Maybe for me, it is easy to say that another person who did not support my candidate is out of her mind, is out of his mind. But this person would still be able to say to me that I still understand you and I am still inspired by your celebration of the Mass. Who is more Jesus than us? Who has stretched out her heart and her mind just like Jesus to tell me that I still understand you and that I still can accept you? My dear brothers and sisters, who among us can become true disciples of Jesus, thinking as Jesus does, loving and accepting as Jesus does. That is why in our first reading today from the letter to the Hebrews, the new covenant, the new temple, the new tabernacle, the new altar is not anymore made of human hands. It is made by the hands of Jesus, the hand of God. And therefore, we are encouraged today not just to think as human beings does, not just to love as humans do, not just to understand as we human beings do, but to love, to think, to accept, and to understand as Jesus does, as God does. Let us ask for the intercession of St. Agnes today. St. Agnes, who was a young woman, a very weak, humble, young woman, like a lamb, like her name, Agnes, a young lamb, but in her meekness and humbleness, she was strong and courageous enough to change her attitude, to change her mindset for the attitude and mindset of God. As we continue this celebration, let us be transformed by the mind and heart of Jesus. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that we may learn from His Son, Jesus Christ, what it means to serve. For every petition, let us say, Father, teach us the way of Jesus. Father, teach us the way of Jesus. That we as church may go out of our own worlds to serve others with self-effacing love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us, us the, the way, way of, of Jesus. Jesus. That those in public office may give the best of themselves in serving the people instead of seeking their personal gain. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the way of Jesus. That we may show gratitude to those who render service to us in various ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the way of Jesus. Like Mary, we may be attentive to the needs of others instead of being too much concerned with our selfish ends. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the way of Jesus. Jesus. That the sick and the elderly may find respect and attention from their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us, us the way, way of Jesus. Jesus. May God help us repair the harm that we have inflicted upon each other and the divisions we have created among our people. May God send the grace of His Holy Spirit to heal our divisions and gift us with the unity for which Jesus prayed. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us the way of Jesus. Lord our God, it is not easy for us to help others when it is inconvenient to do so. May we learn from Jesus to be available to anyone who seeks help, and may you give us the strength to do so. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. soul stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agnes Win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration and we with all the host of angels cry out and without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Agnes, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agnes a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.